Today, I'm needle felting a cardinal. Some assembly required. Hello! I think it's time that I tried to needle felt another kind of bird. I don't make a lot of birds, but cardinals are really pretty, and so I thought I would give it a try. Did you know that wild cardinals can live for up to 15 years, but in captivity, one lived for 28 and a half? <sighs> That's cool. Anyway, first, I had to look up a bunch of photos of cardinals, because I know what they look like in my head, but that is not always a uh, reality. And then I decided to sketch them in my notebook for easy reference. Hopefully all of these sketches will help me stay on track and get the proportions right. I tried to get a lot of different angles so I can visualize my cardinal from all sides, and I can keep checking it out against the sketches as I go. Sometimes I can get a little carried away and I end up with a cartoon instead of something that looks sort of based in actual facts. Well, time to get started. I am rolling some core wool into a teardrop kind of shape and felting till it's firm. Then I need to add on an extra little bump to form the head. Here we are so far, a little basic, but it looks a little bit like a bird. It just needs a little more poking and smoothing. Yeah, there we go. It is still hairy, but it's smooth and firm, and that's more important here because it gives me a good surface to felt on for all the next steps. Next, I'm going to cover the whole bird form with red wool. I like this red because it felt so easily. I'm running low and I definitely need to remember to order some more. I think I got it from Bartlett Yarns, if you're interested. Anyway, <laughs> I know cardinals aren't all one shade of red, but this will cover all the hairy gray core wool and save me time when I switch to finer, wispier wool later, because it won't take so many coats to get a good color coverage. And now I'll just poke, 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 poke until this layer is nice and smooth. There we go, smooth and even. I think this is a good point to add the black face markings. You could wait until a little bit later, but I thought it would give me a good place marker to sort of give me an idea of where everything else should go. Now I'm going to build some legs out of pipe cleaners. They are stronger if you double them up and twist them. Maybe a little thick, but I do want him to be able to stand up. I'm incorporating this circle for more balance and structure and to help attach his legs firmly to his body later on. Since I don't want to be able to see the pipe cleaners, I am wrapping them in black wool. I'm going to use skinny little strips so they aren't extremely, hugely, magnificently thick when I'm finished. I'm trying to get it as thin as possible. Here they are. Still a little hairy though, so I will gently poke them a little bit more. There, that'll do. Now they have to be attached. So after I line up the legs where I want them, I will use strips of the red wool to firmly attach the pipe cleaner circle to the bird's tummy. Since the wires stick out a little bit, being thick and twisted and all that, I'm smoothing the bumps out with more red wool until it just looks like bird and not weird bumpy lumpy stuff. Time for the tail. I separated a strip of sort of a deeper red and felted it into a skinny rectangle. I also added a thin layer of burgundy and a little bit of black to the end of the tail. Now I will just keep on felting until it is not too furry and it kind of looks like a bird tail. Here is a clever way to felt the edges of thin shapes like tails, wings, and ears. If you sandwich the shape between two pieces of cardboard, your fingers are no longer in danger of being stabbed. You can hold it and stab away until the edges are nice and clean. Hooray! 
Now a little bit more poking until it's looking good. Whew, finally. I can now attach the tail to the bird. Oh yeah, he looks a lot better with a tail. While I'm in the felting skinny things zone, I'll make the wings. I have another strip of the same red as the tail, a little bit longer than I want the wings. I ripped it in half, sort of lengthwise, and kind of folded and twisted the top around to make one fatter end on each wing. The other end, I'm folding at an angle so the whole wing is a long teardrop shape. Now it's time to felt the wings nice and tight. I'm using my cardboard squishers again and lots and lots of poking. The tips of the wings also have a little bit of darker red and some black, just like the tail. I'm going to set the wings aside for later and work on the cardinal's crest. I'm going to use my fur adding method, so I will separate some soft red fiber into short strips, not too long and not too thick. I add each strip to the bird by felting a line across the middle of the strip wherever I want uh, fur. I start on the top of his head and then work my way forward and then the same in the back. To blend the weird furry part into the rest of his head, I'm adding more strips, felting the bottom along his face and the sides and back of his head, and then letting the top part stay loose and mix it in with the strips of uh, fur I've already added. Now I'm going to shape the whole thing a little bit so it's more pointy at the top. Moving on, I think I can pop his wings on. I'll just make sure they're in their right place, tack them down, double check, and then felt a lot to really secure them. Now I'm making kind of a cone shape for his beak. I can't make it super duper pointy, but it's not really bothering me. You could make the beak out of clay if the felt beak doesn't look right to you. I think I've felted it enough so it's not too hairy, so now I can felt it on. I'll just line it up, tack it down, check it, and then keep felting. I'm paying close attention to the edges, trying to make a nice clean line. Also, now that it's attached, I can shape it a little bit better so it's not so round. All right, so far so good. How about some eyes? I'm going to use my skinny pencil roving because it is a slightly different color than the black on his face. Okay, not different enough. I will poke around his eyes so they stand out a little bit from the background. Adding tiny white highlights helps a little bit, and it's also kind of cute, but not enough. So I'm going to trace around his eyes with a little bit of gray. Oh, good. It actually looks like he has eyes now. That's good. While I'm here, I will just sharpen up the edge of the black around his face. I'm going to define his beak with a super skinny strip of black. Oh, nice. This helps. Helps make it look like an actual beak, <laughs> not an ice cream cone. Now it's time to fix his hair. His head is a little bit tall. Hopefully a haircut will help. This part is maybe a little bit hard, unless you like the crazy hair on top of his head. I don't want to cut it too much, so I'll just do it little by little. It still looks funny. I will try to shape it just a little bit more with my needle. Not bad. I still think his forehead is a little bit much, and his profile is kind of funky, but he looks cute from the front. Hi. <laughs> I think that he's actually kind of cute. I mean, maybe he doesn't look entirely 100% super duper realistic, and his forehead is super crazy, but 
probably could give it a little bit more felt just to slick it back a little bit. That looks a little bit more correct. That's okay, because I like him the way he is. I really like him from the front. He looks like a teardrop, a red birdie teardrop. But that's cool. I think that, I think he's pretty neat. Let's, let's show them your good side, okay? But that was fun. Not terribly difficult. I mean, the only thing that was a little bit, I wasn't sure how it was gonna go, was the crest. And you know, you don't have to make it quite as insane as this. <laughs> You can make it a little bit more laid back if you want to, or totally crazy and just like, yikes, hair. It's up to you. It's your cardinal. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I had a good time making my new little red friend. If you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of video, I do have a playlist. And if you're not subscribed, you can do that right underneath the video. Click the all notifications bell so you don't miss anything. New videos come out on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So stay tuned for more. And until the next video, be awesome. And I'll see you then. Bye. Tweet. This is not what they sound like. Bye.